Apart from the cheerful MX-5 Miata sports car and a handful of bygone rotary-powered coupes, Mazda hasn't actually built a rear-wheel drive platform since the 1995 929 went out of production. Well, the spirit of that premium luxury sedan is alive and well with the new Mazda CX-90. This is indeed a rear-wheel drive biased all-wheel drive crossover with a fantastic inline six available under the hood. But while those engineering details will probably appeal more to enthusiasts than the average consumer, that person will still find a lot to like with the CX-90's premium and attractive styling and beautiful cabin. But I'm getting ahead of myself. To stay up to date on all the latest automotive news and reviews, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. You can also catch us online at MotorOne.com. The Mazda CX-90 has much of the same Kodo design language that you'd find in some of the company's other crossovers, with really simple and unadorned body sides and graceful and organic forms that help it feel almost timeless and very, very attractive. However, this car has been modernized just a little bit to help it feel even more premium and upmarket. Up front, the grille has the same basic shape and design as you'd find in something like the CX-5 or the CX-50, but the squinty headlights now dovetail into the grille spars for a more cohesive appearance. And then of course, there's the proportions of the thing. Since this is indeed a rear wheel drive architecture, you get a much longer hood and a much shorter front overhang that make it feel very premium. You just can't get these kind of proportions with a front wheel drive vehicle. So Mazda clearly wanted to do something special for anyone who was looking at the CX-90. I do wanna point out a couple of things real quick, like this fender vent that says inline six on the side of it to kind of highlight how much engineering effort went into the CX-90. And then there's tons of bright work all over the car, more than I've ever seen on a Mazda in any time in the past. There's a chrome strip along the rocker panel that punctuates in a Mazda word mark. There's also some bright work on the roof rails and on the window surrounds. And speaking of, the CX-90 doesn't have the same beveled rear window opening that you'd find on the CX-5 or the CX-50. Instead, it comes to a point kind of helping the CX-90 stand out from other vehicles in Mazda stable. If I had a complaint about the CX-90, it would be in the rear quarter view. There's something about the D-pillar and the rounded rear hatch that just doesn't quite work for me. On the whole though, the CX-90 is a very attractive vehicle that perfectly befits Mazda's status as a slightly upmarket alternative to the likes of the Honda Pilot and the Toyota Highlander. As with the exterior, the cabin of the Mazda CX-90 exudes luxury and quality. There's lots of fantastic materials everywhere, at least on this flagship trim level that you're seeing right here, including Nappa leather and genuine wood trim on the dashboard. My favorite design element, however, is this unusual Kake Nui traditional Japanese hanging stitch that appears on the dashboard fascia. It's unusual and attractive, but it also highlights Mazda's Jinba Itai engineering ethos, horse and rider in perfect harmony. That both describes the driver's connection to the road and the way that the different materials interact in this cabin. Hiding behind the CX-90's flat, pug-like front bumper is a 3.3-liter turbocharged inline six that makes 340 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Whether you're comparing the CX-90 to the likes of the Honda Pilot or the Acura MDX, that still gives it best-in-class power and torque figures, which should be very attractive to people who wanna go fast and what Mazda owner doesn't. Also available is a plug-in hybrid powertrain that makes use of a 2.5 liter inline four with a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery to make just a little bit less power at 323 horsepower, but the exact same 340 pound-feet of torque. With a little bit of all electric range and probably improved fuel economy, the plug-in hybrid should be a good option for most customers. Whatever engine you get, the Mazda CX-90 gets an eight-speed automatic transmission, which marks the end of Mazda's reliance on a six-speed auto. Welcome to the future. The 2024 CX-90 should arrive at Mazda dealers sometime in the middle of this year. And although we don't necessarily know pricing or fuel economy just yet, it's fair to assume that this car should compete with flagship versions of the likes of the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander, as well as the Acura MDX and Infiniti QX60. Whatever the case may be though, the CX-90 definitely looks like a winner, with beautiful styling, a gorgeous interior, and impressive engineering that should appeal to both luxury and performance-minded consumers alike. However, we'll have to wait to know for sure until we can slip behind the wheel, so be sure to stay tuned.